Okay, guys, so we're actually going to do some, like, finding probabilities with a uh, normal distribution. So I'm just going to jump straight into an example here, and you can see how it works. Uh, what is the probability of a man being between 162 and 168 centimetres, given that the mean is 175 and the standard deviation is equal to 5? Okay, so we want to know what's the probability of someone being in a certain range. So there's a little bit of like notation here. We want to know the probability that someone is between 162 and 168. Okay, let's just read what that says. We want to know the probability that 162 is less than X, the person, and the person is less than 168. It's just a fancy way of saying between 162 and 168. So that's going to be equal to, uh, before I put it on my calculator, I'm just going to draw it for you so you can see what it looks like. Here's our standard normal distribution. The mean height for all individuals is 175. The standard deviation is equal to 5. Okay, so if that's true, we want to know the probability that someone is between 162 and 168. 162, 168. We want to know the probability that they fall in this little bit that I've that I've uh, scribbled in. Our calculator just does it. It's really, really simple. Okay, turn it on. Menu, stat mode. Go to distribution. We're going to do a normal distribution, and then we're going to do an n. CD. Don't worry about NPD, we're going to do NCD. Uh, now, mine's coming up with this weird list, blah, 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 blah. We're not using lists. We're always using variables, so we use F2. Okay. Now, you just tell it what the lower bound is. So, the lowest we want our person to be is 162. The upper is 168. Now, the standard deviation, that's the O with the little hat thingy, which we call sigma. Uh, now, the standard deviation is equal to 5. And mu, or the mean, is equal to 175. Now, I'm just going to arrow down one more time. And then, oops, you see this little draw button comes up. I'm going to use that because it gives me a really good look at what's happening. Okay, uh, it's kind of hard to see because the drawing on here is different to the drawing here. But we've gone a lower of 162, an upper of 168. It's actually from here to here. There's a little bit of blank space just in there. You're going to have to trust me on that. The probability of that happening is right down the bottom here. 0 0.076. Okay, so there is a 7.6% probability that if you walk up to any individual, uh, given the information that we have here, that the they will be between there's a zero point sorry there's a 7.6% chance 7.609 or 10 uh, percent chance that they'll be between 162 and 168 centimeters tall. Uh, that's a really, really simple example. Get used to doing that on your calculator. Then we've got to actually do a little bit more, uh, some trickier stuff, I guess.